creating, I did the Botox Bob. This is going to be the facelift haircut, the facelift layer. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. So today's going to be what we're doing is going to be doing the facelift layer. So we're going to be taking the Princess Bob that I did in a previous video. You can check it up here. I'll link it. Uh, and we are going to be creating, I did the Botox Bob. This is going to be the facelift haircut, the facelift layer. So what we want to do is, the reason I'm using this is because we've already got the bob shape in, but it is one length. There's a tiny bit of graduation through the back that gives you that shape, as you can see, and it's a little bit styled. But when we're looking at what we want to be doing when it comes to facelift layers is you want to look at the likes of Helen Mirren, J-Lo, uh, Oprah. There's, there's an abundance of people. I'll, I'll put them all over the screen so you can get some inspiration to take it to your hairdresser. But the facelift layer, the facelift bob, is the haircut that you're going to want to do to defy age. Let's get into it. Right. So we are going to be cutting it dry because this is more of like a refining uh, process when it comes to what we want to do with this hair. Because a lot of the times hairdressers, they, they tend to, if you're a new hairdresser as well, what you'll be shown at college, you'll be shown to put a fundamental shape in, wet, blow dry it, and then that's pretty much it. When it comes to the, to the refining process, that's probably the, the most time I spend on a haircut. And, and a lot of other hairdressers say the same. We spend a lot of our time bespoking it to the client. So this is why I'm going to talk about this part of it to create a facelift layer on dry hair. I'm going to be using these. These are my ochre 14 teeth texturizing shears. You can get everything that I use in the description down below as well with excessive on combs, clips, foils, everything is all down there with uh, discount codes as well. So what we want to be doing is we want to be adding scaffold layers. You don't want to be making it look too layered because when you're of, of a certain age, you could potentially be getting thinner hair. Now that's something that we want to sort of counteract. We want to make your hair look fuller, but also give it some layer in there and give it some shape and, and make you look younger, which is where these scissors come in. So I cut this bob with my wing scissors, which are my straight blade scissors, and we created this beautiful princess bob shape. Now we want to be using these scissors to create the facelift layer. So all we want to be doing is, as a hairdresser, what I want to be showing you is where the hair or where the head curves away from that comb, the parietal ridge around the head, that's where you want to be looking at putting these layers in. So it creates like a bevel, but we're going to be putting an internal beveled layer into this haircut because that's what really makes it youthful, makes it look fuller but also gives it that shape. So when you're blow drying, you can get the fullness, but taking it away, giving you a really nice and youthful look. So we're just working on the parietal ridge. So we're working on this top part of the head. And all we want to be doing is we want to put your comb right on the root or, or yeah, right on the root of the head. And you want to pull straight out. So we're coming straight out from the head like it's been electrocuted. Now we want to find halfway down, and this is where we get these. We go in and we pull away. And you can see how much hair it's taken away. But because they're texturizers, you don't get lines in the hair. And again, and again. And then when we get to the ends, that's where we want to be just speeding up those scissors to take off some of the length. So you can see there now, compared to that length there, well, let me show you from the back, that length there, and then there is our new layer. So it's shorter. Now that's why we wanna be working all the way around here. So I'm gonna twist the mannequin round so you can see. We can just take the next section. We don't take the previous section because if we cut into that, we'll be taking more hair away from the previous section. We don't wanna be doing that. You wanna be very consistent and knowing where your next section is, not too thick either. So again, we're just taking out, we find halfway down, we go in and out. Move your fingers up, in and out, fingers up, in and out. And then when we get to about an inch from the ends, so you can see there, just speed up your scissors to take off the length. And you've got this beautiful layer, an internal scaffolding to the hair. And this is what makes it look fuller, thicker, and more youthful. 
Again, next section, we want to be making sure we're taking it from where the, the head curves away from the comb. Halfway, scissors in and out, fingers down, and we just move away until we get an inch away. And then that's where we speed up there and we take off the length and then drop that in. And then we just start to create this beautiful layer in the hair, but also the internal scaffolding to make it look thicker. Then inch away, speed up your scissors, and then we take that off. Then again, look, I've taken quite a big, big bit of hair there, so I'm just going to show you. We want to be taking away that because that's where the head starts to curve. And remember, halfway, and then down, working through, and then taking off that length. And then also what I'm gonna show you is, is the Botox bangs. Next video, the Botox bangs. Something that makes you look younger, gets rid of all those lines on your forehead, and is cheaper than Botox. I look forward to bringing you that video. Right, halfway down. And again, 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 inch away. Take off that. And then that last section just on that front. And I'm gonna be pulling straight out here. Find halfway. So let me just turn it there so you can see. So there's a side profile there, halfway down, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Take that inch off the ends. Now, let me show you side by side, because I've done one side and I haven't done the other. So we want to just create and explode it. Let me just straighten up for you. Now, if you look at how much more volume I can get, like just dropping. Whereas this, because it's got all that internal scaffolding in and the layers just makes it so much fuller. Like if I, if I do that, but you just don't get the same shape because you've got the weight. Can you see that? There we go. So there's all the layering through there. And you can see as that side comes into shot, it just looks so much flatter than what we've got going on here. So I'm gonna continue on this side and then we'll look at the finished result. Remember, it's always important to be checking that you're not going too deep down into here. Reason four, you don't want to be taking too much away from in here because you'll, you'll make the ends look a little bit thinner than they, than, they, than they are. So that's why we're working around the parietal ridge or that curvature of the head. And then this section, before we do that fringe section or front section again, sort of puts a bit of a uh, layering face shape through the face. So halfway. And then when we get to here, again, side profile there. Just want to pull out, find halfway. And a, and a trick for finding halfway, if you get your fingers there, and then you've got this in the comb, the hair, you just push it into the root. I'll show you again. So you come up in here and then just push that down into there and you bring your fingers up until you've got halfway down. There we go. So that's it finished. Let's get the hair out. Now, So much easier that is now to get more volume and lift in there because it's got that scaffolding. But the reason it's called the facelift layer or the facelift bob is because it is a bob. But let me just stand on this stand so I can get my fingers in here. 
we've put layers into it so it just makes it feel lighter more wearable and it's it's sort of like multi-styleable because we've worked from middle you've had to take this over and then throw it over here to create just a different look like a side part or something like that but because we've put the layer internally into the hair as well the scaffolding you're going to just be able to get so much more like lightness and, and volume out of it so yeah hope you enjoyed this quick little video of the facelift bob the facelift layer but you can see there how nice that looks with a side fringe and you don't get all these little bits because we've put internal and because we've worked halfway down the hair if we were to work lower than halfway down you probably have these bits like springing out but you don't because it's all down to that rule of thumb halfway down taking it moving your fingers as you go when you get to the end take that inch off and you'll get a really nice youthful layer being able to put it into bobs you better put it into longer hair works best on bobs because we're lifting the hair and we're just going that we're working around the face basically that's what's called the facelift layer so if you, if you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Until next time, I'll see you on the next video.